wrap myself up in it. I'm no officer. I don't know where he was at that night, at that time. No officer. I don't know. Get off my lawn. Speak to my lawyer. That's what this feels like. Um, Texture-wise, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It's a little bit scratchy. It's gonna go into the maybe pile. I like the way that it looks. It's very comfortable. It does feel a little tight around the arms since I've gained weight when I was um, lifting weights. So it's a solid maybe. Also, the Steven Universe hoodie, it's going to Alicia, so. this jacket on I know it doesn't fit but this was when I became a feminist this was the jacket I bought I broke up with my abusive ex and I got a bunch of fucking stupid patches um, and put them on this jacket we have a signature from K-Play as well as a K-Play patch we have Dessa's fire drills pin this is from my now hairdresser and friend James when he worked at Jack in the Box. Um, the main signed this. Also, um, so did a rocket to the moon on their very last tour. Um, we have Too Cute to Die and Sass Master patches because of obvious reasons. And then um, feminine does not mean anti-feminist. This used to be this used to be a big patch that said um, we accept the love we think we deserve. I ripped it off because that's stupid. But we're keeping this for sentimental reasons. It's signed by artists, so I feel like that's fair. I know this doesn't fit me. I know it will never fit me. I know I will never be able to wear it again, but I'm keeping it anyway. But it's going over here because I need to find a different place in the closet for it. keeping this but for interviews that's it I only want to own like two shirts to get interviewed in I already know what the second shirt is gonna be um, but that's it before you're like Andy get rid of that it looks really good with the blazer <laughs> I think it gives big bi energy vibes. It's staying. Also, it's very warm. style of sweater or did I I don't so here's actually I know so when I worked um, at a retail store I really liked this type of sweater because it was comfortable and it covered up my butt and so it really helped me stay 
un like people would ignore me. Um, also, because I can do this, <laughs> I really like that. Um, and now, when I work in the office, which I haven't been to in almost a year, uh, it's great because I can be warm while also wearing like a tank top and go to the gym, work out in the tank top, and do this. This is nice. It's a little bit tight, but because it's a sweater, I know it loosens as you wear it, and I have good memories with it. Conflicting. I live in Texas. I have a nice tr tr trench coat jacket that I wear. Otherwise, I wear hoodies. How many nice jackets do I need? So I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. <laughs> but I feel like I should. Like with some high-waisted jeans or even just some black yoga pants, like. It's very cute and soft. I like the sleeves. Yeah, I think I'm keeping it. Great. If I do, this is impractical. Is it supposed to be worn like this? Because that's just ugly. This is. Why have I just kept this in my closet? I knew that it was weird. Who made this?
cute, like prim and proper cute. Um, I don't know if I would wear it like buttoned though. Um, do I have a crop top tank top that I could wear with this in which it would be cute? I don't know. Feels very 90s. It has potential. It has potential. I'm going to keep it. I've had it in my closet because I keep saying it has potential and then don't wear it. But I think we're in colder weather, so it has potential. Okay, hear me out. I can't zip this up, but mostly because I can't zip it up by myself. If, ugh. But I don't know for sure if I can zip it up because it doesn't fit or if I just can't zip it up. It's extremely cute and I want to go to fucking festivals again when the pandemic's over. Oh, it's twisted and that doesn't help. When I first bought this, I had to pin the shit out of it because I was still really thin and I didn't have boobs yet. Okay, no, we're good. Ooh, she's cute. This is cute. This is very cute. We're keeping this. I don't know what I'm gonna wear it to, but it's cute. It feels good. I look stupid with this tank top on, but we got this like wrappy situation. Snatched. All right, no, nope, we're keeping this. 100%. I feel good in it, so. Hm. Can I unzip it by myself though? Hope so, yes. Okay, so I've gone through all of my clothes in my closet. I got rid of quite a lot of clothes, actually. It looks like just one trash bag, but it's because I keep like shoving them in. Um, so I am going to now put everything back. Um, obviously there are some things that I didn't try on, but it's things that I've literally worn in the last like two weeks and so I knew were fine. Or like shirts for interviews and stuff that I knew were fine. Um, and my elf costume. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna put things back. I think I'm going to organize them as like jackets, sweaters, long sleeve, shirts, just shirts, tank tops, crop tops, dresses, um, and pants somewhere in there, um, which is kind of how I already had it organized. Um, but I think I'm going to have my dresses a little bit more organized in that. Like I have super formal dresses and then I have like very casual dresses and I'm going to 
organized based on that. So yeah, let's get this show on a road and then I'm gonna eat something because I'm hungry. I got my nightstand cleaned, my closet's done. Um, all that's left is I have this little bookshelf. Um, this little bookshelf that I want to clean up. It's a little bit crazy and I want to clean it up. I'm going to do my sheets um, and run to the dollar store. This is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get started on that. Good morning. Um, I'm almost completely done decluttering. So this is declutter video part two because I had to split this week's vlog into two parts. Uh, I do have shorts on if you can see my legs. I promise I have shorts on. I have a trash bag though of stuff that I actually can't take out until after trash gets taken on Monday. <laughs> I have filled up our trash bin completely. Um, all that I have left is this situation, this third bookshelf, I don't know if you can see it, um, but once, like, and then I have some odds and ends all over the room from decluttering that I just need to, like, find a home for, and if I can't find a home for it, it's gonna go. Um, I may, like, I think I said before, put my Keurig over there, um, and my sun lamp on the windowsill. I think that that would be a better use of my space. So, let's talk about my closet. Ice coffee. Drink a coffee. Panic attack. Except not. Um, let's talk about my closet. <laughs> um, I did completely redo my nightstand also. Um, so it's like much cleaner, much nicer. At night I can put my iPad here. I can keep my Kindle here during the day and charge it. It's currently charging a battery underneath there. I've got my glasses and my thermometer. I don't think there's anything in there. I've got, yeah, little post-it notes for when I'm reading in bed. 
Um, so that's really nice. And in here, like all my meds and then my oil warmer stuff that like smells nice. And then all of my, this is like a mold. This is what I put the excess oil in so I can throw it away later. Um, and then all my hair stuff um, is in there because I like to sleep with satin stuff. So closet situation. I should have taken a before video. I definitely didn't. Um, but we've got the clothes all nice and organized. What I did here, so I got rid of a shoe rack and put them in this old bookshelf. And then I have this tapestry from the Chain of Gold box. Um, and all my shoes are back here. I pretty much wear the same pairs of shoes. So, um, yeah. The reason my flip-flops are in the floor is because I went to the dollar store yesterday. Um, flip-flops. And we have my dress, or not my dresser, my hamper. Um, so I do, there is one thing that I want to like possibly change is that I have extra tote, you can't see, it's too dark. I have extra totes in here, like extra tote bags. Um, and I think I want to do something else with that, but I just haven't figured out what yet. <laughs> so this hamper used to be over here, and this thingy used to be in that corner and you couldn't open it at all. And then I had a shoe rack here. And then this was just like out, taking up space. So now I have this, which is like craft stuff and my nail stuff. And it, it's kind of disorganized, but I like that because I can roll it out. I can see what's going on. I can put it back. We're good to go. Um, in that drawer, what is in that drawer? Oh, we have more skate stuff and then like um, games like Jenga. And then Cotter's drawer of stuff. And I think this is an empty drawer. Yeah, that's an empty drawer. I don't, I, I, I think I had a plan for that, but I don't know what it is right now. Uh, oh, I was going to put more candles in it, and I still might do that. And I had my purses up on the top top shelf, but I decided that this works better because I don't really have that many purses. So I just got some command hooks <laughs> and, and threw those up there. And then this is just like my fuzzy socks and stuff. Um, they just are going to live in here because they don't fit in the normal, like, underwear drawer but I don't wear them all the time so so like this is like bathing suits fuzzy socks that kind of thing um I completely got rid of a ton of blankets and stuff so now I just have my quilt that my grandmother made me and my welcome back cotter pillow that my grandmother gave me um welcome back cotter is in fact what my dog is named after we've got Merida she lives forever I'm keeping her forever I'm never getting rid of her she's very important to me and then we have candles lots of them Candles, 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 resin stuff, embroidery stuff. I was thinking about getting rid of that, but I don't want to, so I didn't. Um, and then we have a yoga mat and a suitcase. And then another yoga mat is down there. And then this is my overnight stuff for when I go see my partner. Um, and this basket is actually empty, other than the bags, which is really surprising for me. <laughs> so, you know what? I may put those tote bags in that drawer. Huh. Thoughts. So yeah, all that's left is that third bookshelf over there. I did get, um, for $5 from the dollar store, LED lights, but they're warm white. So that won't work for literally anything that I do. <laughs> um, they also stick terribly. They're already coming off of, I put them on the back of my, um, computer and they're already coming off. It's fine. I'm going to probably take them off. They were $5, so it's not like a huge loss. But yeah, so that's where we're at. We're almost completely done cleaning today. I'm going to do the third bookshelf. I'm going to sort out all of this stuff. The hamburger backpack is going rip in peace. It's going to my niece wants it. And then I have a Steven Universe hoodie that I'm going to give to Alicia. And then I think this is a cover and I can take it off. So I might take that off and then wash my rug too but my parents are coming home today, so it kind of depends. But thanks for tuning in <laughs> to this. It's been wild. Um, I'm gonna keep, keep it moving. I should theoretically clean out my desk, but my desk gets cleaned out once a month um, because I do tend to hoard things at my desk and, and then I clean it out once a month. The only thing that really, really needs to go is my nutrition training books. I need to find a new home for them since I don't need them as accessible. Since I graduated. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna get to cleaning. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in a bit.
I'm gonna close out the vlog because this is vlog part two and it's already too long. Like, way too long. Thanks for watching me declutter shit and like pretty much not talk about books at all. I read Pan's Labyrinth, the book. It was very good. If you like the movie, I highly recommend the book. Super, super good. I also am 50% into Piranesi. I might go ahead and finish it tonight. We'll see. I'm feeling kind of like I'm having an anxiety attack. Can't tell yet. I'll know in about 10 minutes. Uh, I filmed my TBR. Have to get that edited and done and ready for tomorrow. Not tomorrow, but for some Tuesday. Um, no pressure. I also have to film my wrap up at some point. No pressure. Um, but I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for checking in. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. This is gonna be like a series kind of because I'm gonna move. So I will have like a part three in which I pack all my shit up. So I hope you enjoy that. Bye. Stay healthy. Make smart choices. Wear your mask.